On March 26, 2024, the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, Maryland collapsed after a cargo ship, the Dolly, crashed into it. The incident resulted in the loss of six lives, all of whom were construction workers on the bridge at the time of the collapse. The bridge was undergoing repairs when the accident occurred. The Dolly, a 984-foot-long cargo ship, experienced a momentary loss of power, causing it to drift towards the bridge. Despite the efforts of the local pilot, the ship collided with one of the bridge's pillars, leading to its collapse. The incident has had a significant impact on the Port of Baltimore, a major hub for shipping and commerce, as vessel traffic has been suspended until further notice. Um, in classic American fashion, the left and right are already divided on this topic. The right-wing faction believes this might have been a cyber attack, and some on the right are blaming diversity and inclusion policies for the accident. Meanwhile, the radical liberals quickly licked the boot of their federal government. The White House and its prehistoric news media is claiming the Baltimore Bridge collapse was not terrorism and reveals there's no indication it was intentional. Andrew Tate posted to X, this ship was cyber attacked, lights go off, and it deliberately steers towards the bridge supports foreign agents of the USA attack digital infrastructures. Nothing is safe. Black Swan event imminent. A community note was then added to this post stating officials have said it was not intentional nor an act of terrorism. Tim Poole pointed out how strange it is that the radical liberals quickly attack American citizens who want to investigate why the boat crashed into one of the main pillars of the bridge. Remember, this bridge collapse did lead to the death of six people and caused economic chaos in the city with lots of traffic jams. But I certainly think an investigation is warranted. And we didn't get one. The bridge collapses and a couple hours later, they're like, everything seems to be OK, everybody. Don't ask questions. Your government is in control. Well, Marjorie Taylor Greene said there should be an investigation. Was it an accident or was it an attack? And I think that is the intelligent thing to do. But then we see this. The Wire creator David Simon calls Marjorie Taylor Greene a submoronic pratfall of a human being for questioning if the Baltimore Bridge collapse was intentional and demanding an investigation. Huh? Political expert Scott Adams explains how diversity and inclusion policies turned Americans racist again. The moment Americans saw the bridge collapse, they automatically assumed it was some diverse employee that screwed up. But if you want to look at this through a more political lens, the fact that the first thing that half of the country, or maybe a third of the country thought of is that it was a DEI problem. Imagine being a Democrat and you think you've got this terrific thing called DEI that's really going to help black people. And then, then a, a ship collapses a bridge. We have no information whatsoever that there were any black people involved in anything related to this, except the victims, I'm sure, because it was Baltimore. But no evidence, no evidence whatsoever that there was any DEI problem that had anything to do with competence. It could have been just an act of God, a total coincidence. could have been anything. But what does it say to the people promoting DEI that a third of the country assumed it was probably a DEI problem? Don't you think that they would take that as useful information to incorporate in their desire to fix the world and realize that it was making things worse? It clearly made things worse. If DEI did not exist, do you think even one of you would have thought immediately, oh, I wonder if it's a diversity hire? You wouldn't have even thought of it. It would not be in your top 10 things to even think about. But because they've just beaten us over the head with DEI, it's the first thing I think about. Unfairly. Unfairly. It's all confirmation bias. Whatever caused the boat to crash into the bridge, one thing is for sure. Baltimore will be in economic pain for at least five years. Many will probably move due to traffic jams and logistical issues. The port will be closed for some time before the mess is cleared up, and it will take many years to design and construct a new bridge. With this depressing news over, I'm going to end the newscast with an uplifting video of Melanie Mack telling trans people how to really transform into their gender's desire. Have a fantastic day, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, smash that like button, and leave an uplifting comment for everyone to enjoy. Hip, hip, hooray. Yeah. If you want to pass as the gender you're not, the answer is really easy. Just get as fat as possible.